Hey everybody, so today is June 13th. Today is my last Morpheus treatment. So remember we had three sessions. So the first one was in April, April 1st, I believe. The last one was May 8th, and then we're doing the last one today. And then after this, I believe the next steps will be like looking at where to fill and do Botox. So, and see if also we'll need further um, facials such as IPL, etc. So, as you guys could see, like still improving. Um, don't mind my hair; looks a little crazy, but yeah, definitely notice my skin's continuing to clear up. Um, the texture is getting better as well. I noticed that like I'm not looking as deep around my eyes as I did when I first started. So I'm really happy about that. Um, don't mind me, I'm tired today. But one of the concerns that I have and will be addressing like after I do this last treatment is like especially the lines underneath my eyes. I think that comes from mostly hollowness because I don't have a lot of like fat and collagen underneath my to support my eye sockets as well as like just seeing um, if I could get fillers in my cheeks. And then I think we were talking about the possibility of doing a little Botox like on the center of my face. Um, I believe it's like here, here, and here. So yeah, so it's still going well. Also doing the neck, so like the blemishes and the hyperpigmentation on my neck has also been starting to diminish. So I'm really happy about that. So overall, I have been really satisfied about the Morpheus 8 treatment. I definitely recommend you look into it and possibly getting it. It definitely helped me. Definitely think it's worth the investment. So just let me know if you have any questions and I'll continue to post like the before and after and the progress with everything. All right, bye. Okay, everybody, so just like the very last video, I decided not to record the last part of my Morpheus 8 treatment just because it's the same exact procedure as you saw in part one. But just to give a quick recap, they wash your face, they numb it, make sure that you're completely numb, and then they go over your face and neck with the Morpheus 8 pin, which is like a microneedling technique and a microneedling procedure where it lightly, lightly punctures your skin. The needle is lightly heated. And then after that, um, they went over the PRP as well. So I explained that in previous videos. So you could check that out if you have any questions. But just wanting to show you guys like how I looked right after. So as you can see, I do have some swelling in my face as well as redness. But that literally cleared up within like the next day or so. For aftercare, they give you Aquaphor. I actually have my own jar. So I applied that sparingly on my face as well as sunscreen. And I also avoided direct sunlight. They only recommend for a few days, but I like to do up to a week just to be sure. But like I said, like the recovery process was very seamless. Like I literally went back to normal within the next day or two. So you'll see that in the next frame here. So as you can see, like my skin literally cleared up. There's no more redness, there's no more swelling, and I was able to go about as normal. So in my next video, um, if not the very next YouTube video, the video after that, I will show you the whole procedure on me coming back to get my fillers as well as Botox. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, this is the end of the Morpheus 8 treatment. I hope that you guys liked this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up and like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also share as I'm trying to up my engagement. In this last frame, I'm going to show you the before and after for all three treatments so you can see how I progress over the whole course of my treatment. And also, while you're at it, go ahead and follow me on social media. You can find me on TikTok, Facebook, as well as Instagram at the username Lover of Shades. Again, I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions one more time, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. And until then, love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.